I'm kind of lit for this. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dora. If you don't already know me, I talk, vlog, and do other stuff. And it has been a minute, but we're back. So today we're gonna be doing a little life update. So if you've been here, if you know me, we're checking back in, where has she been? And if you don't know me already, it's to get to know me. Who is this girl? What's she talking about? Okay, let's do it. It'll get less cringy like once the in intro's over because it, it just had to be a little cringy there. The last video that I uploaded to YouTube was uploaded on January 18th, 2021. And today's October 13th, 2022. So it's been almost two years, a little under two years. I feel like it only makes sense to let you guys know where I've been because I'm coming back to YouTube and it's like, okay, but what, what, what was you doing the whole time? I'm going to rewind all the way back to January 18th, 2021 and start just filling all in. Like it's a tea session, sit down, get comfortable. I started vlogging on this channel when I was in Germany. I did a gap year abroad and I started filming my time as an exchange student over there. A lot of those videos are archived because the quality was not very good. But <laughs> if you want to go take a look, there's still some stuff you can probably see there. And then um, when I got back to America from my exchange year, I vlogged when I was in college. I went to Georgia Tech and there I did a lot of vlogs. Well, I don't know if you'd say a lot, but I did vlogs then. And then over COVID time, I started doing a lot more sit down videos because I had but like really little choice. I didn't go anywhere because it was a pandemic and nobody should have been going anywhere. But Okay. So I started doing a little bit more sitting down videos. The last video, like I said, I posted was my first day of classes vlog, Georgia Tech, spring semester 2021. The reason that I didn't follow through with the vlogs that I had that semester, but honestly, I had a lot of vlogs lined up. I was filming. I just did not have time to edit. It was a very stressful semester and... It was also like still pandemic-y as you saw in my vlog. Like there was a lot going on. We are at Goodwill. You want to walk us through your, your haul? No, I don't. All right. Oh, okay. Keep making eye contact with people in other cars. So good. All right. Catherine is very happy with her um, Goodwill purchases. Giving is giving. The crest is not from Goodwill. It's the pockets for me. It's okay, show them the pockets. Oh, we just put the yeah. Oh, it's giving conventional. Wait, no, wait. Convenient. It's the tag on your head for me. Let's debrief. So we went. <laughs> you wanna get in it? Come on. So we went to Goodwill. I have to go take two pics. <laughs> what is your sun, moon, and rising? Sagittarius? What and what? She don't know. Don't know. Child, anyways, <laughs> we went to Goodwill. I didn't vlog it because there were a lot of people in there and I was trying to like touch as little stuff. I didn't want to touch my camera and then go back and then do this and then do that. Moon Virgo and rising cancer. Tell me how that fits. Rising it's cancer. It's your really ass. Come across as gentle. <laughs> Come across as gentle. Anyways, um, so we went to Goodwill. Oh, please. <laughs> so now I don't know what we're going to do. Pay. I got a pan, cause Kathy keeps making fun of my pan cause it's a little bit raunchy. Just a little bit raunchy. It doesn't work, cause it's a little destroyed. Next thing I think I'm gonna do is get my car fixed. Maybe go for a drive. Maybe. A drive? I don't know if I remember how. I was at school getting tested every week. We tried to go back to playing volleyball. Um, I played club volleyball in college. I tried to go back to playing but one of the <laughs> we had tryouts and or it wasn't even tryouts we had an open gym and a girl came and later tested positive for covid even though we had to get negative tests to go to practice she tested positive for covid like the next day or so so then the whole volleyball like team had to go into quarantine so that was the end of volleyball for that semester. We were just like, forget it, COVID is still happening and we're gonna just pause. And we wore masks, so it was like safe. I didn't get COVID or anything, but 
it was just too much and i did not like being quarantined in that hotel it was annoying i was all by myself and i didn't like it especially because i didn't have covid but yeah so i was also involved in a lot of things um during the semester i don't even feel like getting into it but i was involved on campus i also tried to make a documentary um it's still like i have a lot of the clips and i may do something with it when i have the emotional energy to but it was basically going to be about being black at georgia tech and how i feel like that is a very unique experience and so i may revisit that i may not but i, I was working on a documentary during that semester so it just became a lot with school with extracurriculars and leadership positions and trying to get my documentary together i did not end up having time to edit my documentary let alone my youtube videos so I had a lot on my plate, so let's just say. Oh, also I went through a breakup that semester. <laughs> so that was just a lot, it was a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I feel like the theme of that like spring semester was like coming back to myself because I was really trying to figure out like what the heck is going on while also like managing to keep doing life. That was that semester and then summer came and I feel like that was the best summer I think I've had in a very long time. I really needed that summer because I had such a tumultuous spring 21. <laughs> It was crazy. So I had a really good summer. I kind of didn't want to vlog it because I wanted to like live in the moment. I was just so happy. I was experiencing like happiness again, like no school stress, no like all, it was just a lot of other stressors that I could like release. I had two jobs that summer. I had three jobs that summer. So I was very busy, but I was also very happy because I was making three jobs money. So that was also cool. So I enjoyed making money. I worked really hard at an internship. Um, and I also was a counselor for this summer program at my college for students of color coming into college, basically helping mentor them, let them know what Georgia Tech would be like. And then I also did this program for Achieve Atlanta, which is basically a scholarship. And I also was doing mentoring that summer as well with that. I had a lot of things on my plate, <laughs> but I still managed to have a good time. And I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how I did it. I don't even know how to describe it. I think that was like 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It was giving summer 16 vibes and it was summer 21. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so then I went back to school. I was very focused actually. Um, I was taking all marketing classes because I was finishing out my degree. I graduated in December, 2021. So that fall was my last semester. I took all marketing classes. So that was really interesting because like I love marketing, so it was what I'm really focused in, but also Scheller College of Business. Let me tell you, if you want to be a business major at Georgia Tech, get ready to do group projects because they're going to make you do group projects. You're doing group projects, period. I think every single semester that I was a business major, I had a group project, if not more than one. Like, you're going to learn to work with others. Collaboration station, baby. And <laughs> I think I was taking 15 credit hours, which wasn't bad because it was all classes I was interested in. And this semester I actually like dropped all my extracurriculars and just wanted to focus like on myself and finishing strong. And I did that because I ended that semester with a 4.0. So I did finish strong, not to say it wasn't difficult, but I did finish strong. It was also a really um, stressful semester because that semester was career 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 i was working on cover letters i was working on fixing my resume updating my resume i was working on applying to jobs going to mixers and corporate networking events all these things because i wanted to get a job <laughs> and it was very stressful but i did i got a job i got a good job i'm working that job right now so that semester was very like my future focus it was very like academic focus career focus i was trying to get my degree and make sure i had somewhere to go with that degree when i was done with receiving that degree so i got a job offer and i didn't get a start date but i did get a location my job <laughs> i basically got offered a role in washington dc um and i was like yay but wait because i had like several job offers and all of them were for atlanta except for this one and this one was exactly what i wanted to do and i was so torn because i knew for a fact that like at this point in my life i wanted to be in atlanta so it was very difficult for me to figure out if i valued like doing a job that i may not love or i may love i don't know like taking a risk with a job that I'm not 100% sold on, but it's in Atlanta, 
or taking a job that I know like for a fact that I'm definitely interested in, would excel in and aligns with like my goals long term. E, I guess it did. Yeah, it really does. I'm not even gonna lie. Like <laughs> it does align with my goals long term. I ultimately decided to take the job offer in DC. So I am currently in the DMV, not DC, but I'm in the DMV area and We'll get to that in a second. Let's just leave that there and we're we're gonna revisit that because I actually graduated and didn't have to move for a long time because my company didn't give me a start date for a while. So I got another job as an assistant to the executive producer on a television show called Social Society and I really, really enjoyed this job. It was definitely difficult at first. In the beginning, I feel like coming from Georgia Tech to a production job is is difficult in itself because Georgia Tech doesn't necessarily prepare you for that. It's very like, Georgia Tech to corporate. There's like a funnel and they're preparing you for that career, which is really good and really helpful, but um, very specific. And if you don't want to do that, then you may not feel as prepared, which, hey, I don't know. Since I was waiting on my start date, I worked at that job and I had a really good time. I worked there from January to May. It was a really good experience. I love my boss. I love the show. I loved the whole experience it was definitely difficult at first because i feel like i did not know what was going on i was very lost i was like am i qualified to even be here doing this it was a lot of uh. <laughs> but i feel like i got the hang of it after a while i started doing a really good job and feeling like confident in my skills and then it was over <laughs> that's, that's how it went and then it was over <laughs> we filmed from january to may and then when the show was over i i kept helping my boss as her like assistant for a little bit and then when gave me my start date i started to get my stuff together to get ready to move to the dmv area that was around july wow i kind of ran through that kind of very quickly so moving to the dmv area i'm gonna let you guys know like where my mind was my mind was i don't want to go so i'm gonna pretend it's not happening so for several months when i should have been planning looking for apartments buying furniture i was doing nothing i was living my life like it's golden in atlanta georgia <laughs> Like it was a good summer. I was hanging out with my friends. One of my closest friends from middle school was my roommate. So all of our high school friends, like I have like a group of friends who were my friends in high school as well. Whenever we wanted to hang out, our apartment was a spot. Like life was, life was perfect. I had, there were issues of course. Like I feel like I've always, there, like life has issues, duh. But I feel like I was in a really good place and then I got my start day, which I'm grateful for because I really am grateful for this job. I like this job a lot. Obviously, you won't be given anything that you're not ready for, but I did not feel like I was ready to be uprooted out of my happy life. <laughs> so I was pretending that it didn't ha it wasn't happening. I had a positive take on it because I was like, okay, we're gonna make this work. I'm gonna do this, this, and this. I'm gonna make friends. And then like a lot of stuff went south like all at once. Like <laughs> friendships, relationships, my parents and I were on the outs. Like everything was going wrong very quickly. It was all going wrong at the time of me moving. So the beginning of August, <laughs> this is a horrible time for me. Yeah, August was hard. August was tough. I came here the weekend before I started 
work. I moved all my stuff. I drove up in a car. It's so funny because people in the leasing office were like, okay, well, where's your truck? Like, we'll, we'll let you know where to put your truck. I was like, oh, I don't have a truck. I have my small little Mazda and that's all. Yep. <laughs> And they were very shocked. So in summary, August was difficult. I had no furniture. I had very few things. I felt like I had no support system here. I just felt very alone here. And then I started work the Monday after I moved up. Like I think I moved up on Saturday and then I started work on Monday. And then um, the person who drove up with me left on Monday. So then it was really just me and like all these boxes. And I was like, okay, this is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Like, I'm like, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, so yeah, all in all, the months of August, September, October were rough. Did I say it's October 13th? And today's October 13th, 2022. I meant it's November 13th. Wow, I'm just now coming to that. But the months of August, September, and October have been trying to say the least because I'm in a new city, new career, new everything it feels like far away from a really strong community that i felt like i had i feel like truly just like my life was uprooted the thing is though i made the choice to move up here so i was like i'm dumb like why did i do this to myself i shouldn't have come all of these regrets but at the end of the day i have to like keep reminding myself that like i would not have been offered this position i would not have been called to do something like this if i wasn't able to if i wasn't like if i didn't have what it takes basically like i would not be here if it wasn't meant to be i don't know i that's all i can say about it of course i still have in my mind like i want to go back to atlanta like planning when i can go back to atlanta how to get back there all this stuff but as of right now i'm just trying to keep a positive outlook <laughs> as best as i can and make it do what it do which leads me to why i'm back making youtube videos honestly it's always been in my mind like i miss making youtube videos i was in an editing slump the thought of editing videos annoyed me because i really liked editing like editing was like my favorite part of making the youtube videos because i was like i can do this 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 i spent so much time on it and then when i stopped making youtube videos it was mostly because i didn't have the time to edit so just coming back to youtube i was like oh my gosh like i'm gonna have to edit all this stuff and it just felt more stressful than it was fun for me something that i would say is like a pro of being here is that i have a lot more alone time since i am alone like most of the time and I do work virtually so I was like you know what let's bring back editing like let's make editing fun again I have the time to do it ultimately I found my will to be creative again I don't know if that makes sense or not I lost my will to like be creative and I kind of feel like it's back I'm like I want to do it I want to do it and sometimes whenever you feel like I want to do it I want to create do it like that's when you need to just hurry up and do it because it'll just keep going with momentum like with momentum you'll be like oh and i could do this and oh and i could do that all the ideas just keep on going so what you can expect to see from me moving forward is vlogs a lot of lifestyle content because i'm doing this life kind of from scratch a little bit like i feel like i'm starting over in a lot of ways and i just thought it would be so cool to bring you guys along with me through my journey because even looking back on my old youtube videos when i was in germany when i was in college it's like i forgot that i did all these things and i really love the aspect of seeing it on camera edited together in the way that i did and i wanted to keep doing that like i i re-inspired myself by looking at myself what the heck is that about? That's so cool. So, shout out me. I'm currently doing Vlogvember with a few of my friends from Atlanta. So, follow me on TikTok because you can see the vlogs there. It's daily vlogs. I plan to do, like, vlogs every week, post every week. Yeah, y'all will be seeing from me. I've been making it do what it do. And I'm honestly really proud of myself for doing all that I have been. And I feel like it's really easy when I'm all by myself to get in a rut and be like, oh my gosh, like everybody's life is moving a certain way and mine is not set up yet but honestly we're literally in our 20s i'm 22 years old my birthday is in a week and a half 
is in a week and a half and i'm gonna be 23 but i'm 22 years old i'm in my early 20s nobody at this age really knows what they're doing i don't care what anybody says you, we're learning life is literally a learning process like all throughout life ew is that a big sean lyric life is a feeling process i like big sean i don't know why i said ew but like did i just recite some lyrics as a quote like who do i think anyways we're literally learning as we move throughout life so i just feel like it's going to be so wonderful to bring you guys along this learning process with me even though it feels like oh i'm not doing anything i'm not doing enough i'm doing fine and you are too you're doing fine you're doing great you're doing better than fine so yeah i've been doing good and i'm gonna document that even if it feels some days like i'm doing bad or i'm not doing the right thing or i've taken the step in the wrong direction at the end of the day it's all gonna be okay so we're gonna vlog it we're gonna document it we're gonna go through it together it's gonna be an us thing i think that's all i got today i really think that that's all i got i hope you learned about me today i hope you feel closer to me <laughs> drop what you've been doing for the past year and a half in the comments i want to know let me know what kind of content you want to see if you have any old vlogs of mine that you're like do one like that tell me i'm gonna try to run it back you know don't ask for a house tour though because that that won't be happening probably until march not even gonna lie to you this bed is my prized possession right now that's all i'm gonna say on that anyways that's my grandma that she goes peace and that how did i end my old vlogs hold on let me go look and i'll see you guys next time yeah i think i just say see you guys next time huh let's see about this one even though everything doesn't always get done it's okay like you have the next day we have tomorrow and i don't have any classes tomorrow so i'm so excited i've woken up for my nine look at me being motivational i did what i could bye friends yeah i think i just say bye that would be normal that was so cute watching me watching all me anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Do this thing where I make scary faces at myself. Like, and I don't know why. It's like, like the crazy eyes. I'll just be like, why? It's weird. What is that TikTok? You know what the, the greatest part, part of it is? is? No, no one, one can, can stop me. me.